Okay, just right here. This is the Penn Central tender car. I've still got a little bit of I've still got a little bit of touch up to do on it. But this I haven't done any weathering yet. I've I've scraped on a few things, but now I undercoated with a rust color. Got my decals on here. I sprayed it with some with some dull coat and it kind of made it glossy, but I can take care of that later. But I haven't started actually started the weathering yet. Any weathering's been done accidentally by me scraping something. Okay. So now we're gonna start from the ground up. I'm gonna start with the um the with the trucks, but first I'm gonna show you the tools I got. Okay. Well, first off I got some I got some 120 grit sandpaper here. I've got some super fine 400 grit sandpaper. This is like automotive sandpaper. It can be used wet or dry. Um, I took the time. I've got some of these skewers to store the other day. I took some wood glue, cut off a few pieces, maybe some sanding sticks. Got one there. I got this one here. Got a file. I got my burnishing tool. This is a fiberglass strand burnishing tool. It adjusts like that. You twist that. Got my hobby knife. Got uh, pretty much a brand new blade in there. Got a paintbrush. Um, okay. And I got a uh, gnarly wire brush here, but I don't know if this is, this might be too big for what I want to do, but we'll see. I've got a foam brush. I've got weathering powders. These are from Bragdon Enterprises. This one right here is soot. This black one's called soot. This one right here is called Dust Bowl Brown. And that's a perfect color for railroad sand where it gets kicked up on everything. Plus, I've got the compact. I've got uh, dark rust right there, soot right there, and a little compact. Plus, I've got uh, medium rust and light rust also in the bags if I need it. So that's about it. All right. All right. All right, here's one of the trucks. And I did use... The Bragdon weathering powders on these, um, it, but it did not stick to the places where there was a lot of gloss. It did just fine going into the springs where the springs are and stuff like that and the detail on these axles. And I'm going to use it again. But what I'm going to do now is I put some paint on here. Um, and I'm going to go back. I'm going to paint all this. This is all going to get painted. I'm going to mix up some paint. I don't know if you can see the color there. It's kind of a, uh, it's kind of a brown, kind of a sand brown. It kind of matches the dust bowl brown powder. So I'm going to do that with both of these trucks and I'll show you these wheels real quick. I painted these wheels, but I need to burnish them and put another thin coat of, of paint on them. And then I'm going to clean the ends of these axles too. And make sure there's nothing on there to get in the way of it, to get in the way of the operation. Let's see if I can get that. Yeah, see that needs burnish some. So take this. Kind of soften that up a little bit. Okay, I'll do that. And then um, 
Yeah, I'll get all these painted. And I'll show you what that looks like. Show you guys something real quick. Um, I found these. This set of wire brushes at the dollar store for like two bucks. It's got a plastic one. It's got a brass one. And I believe that's a stainless one. This, uh, this brush here is just too... Um, I might save that for working on the for uh, painting my trim this summer outside because that's pretty aggressive but I'll hold on to that but I have a feeling I'm going to be using these soon so let's try to show you that okay I've got my I painted these I mixed up some paint it was, I used a nutmeg brown and I used some, um, I used white and black together to make a little bit of gray to mix with it. More of the nutmeg brown and some equal parts of the white and gray just to where you got it. Kind of like a railroad sand color. And I'm trying to get something close to this, this Bragdon powder, because I'm going to put some of that on last. But um, I think first what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I've got some black powder here. I'm just going to brush on lightly right here on this right here on this spring area I'm gonna hit that okay do that on both of them and then I'm gonna let that stuff sit I'm gonna let that sit for a little while now I painted these and uh, I did my best to keep the paint from getting in the uh, the axle holes on the ends I took a small little wire and made sure there was what any paint in there I painted these wheels. I think I still have a little bit of a, a little bit of cleaning to do. I see a little spot on that one. And then I took I took my uh, I took my sandpaper, took it like that, and got on the end of that and spun that thing around and made sure all the paints off of that point on these wheels. The wheels pretty much are ready to go. So we're gonna do that. We, we did that, we're gonna let them sit. Okay. Now here I, I did get some black on here. Okay. Now I'm gonna take I'm going to take some of this dark rust and then it's only going in one spot right there on the springs okay I'm going to do the same with this other one Okay, now I'm going to take a little, my little, my little makeup brush here. Okay. 
and some of it's getting around to the other places, but that's okay. Right there, you should be able to see that. That's looking, yeah. Okay. Now, I've got some of my light rust here. Real quick across it. I'm gonna go all over underneath. Get a little bit on the coupler. Okay. See what I got there. Using my plastic brush to just aggravate that a little bit. Okay. Okay, and for my finishing touch, just a little bit. Okay, I don't want a lot. I want it to be very light. Some dust ball brown. And okay. Now that's more or less finished. I may touch up once I have it. I'm gonna, um, and, and then I will, I'm gonna put these wheels back on and show them to you. And then that'll be it for the couplers. All right. I got a pencil, regular number two pencil. And see this frame? Take it, just drag along the frame here and there. Okay. And it'll kind of give it a little bit of a fresh metal look. That's where your sand and everything, your sand gets kicking around. And it kind of polishes the metal a little bit. Just not too much, just on the frame parts, this, this frame in through here. Just a light touch, just give it just a little bit of and you might, and I think I'm going to do some on the coupler here too. Especially on your edges, because on your edges, because they're always getting contact and it's polishing the metal. Okay. All right, I'm getting ready to put wheels on. OK, 
Okay. There's my trucks. I've still got a little bit of cleanup to do on the flanges. Okay. Now we're going to move on to our the frame of our car. Okay, now I had a little accident. I was doing some work on this, and this this side piece broke off, and I had to re-glue it. And so then I had to redo some painting, but um, I will probably hit this with another shot of dull coat. Or this ought to scrape off. I think I'm gonna try it. I'm like I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna try it with the dull coat. Let's see if that dull coat will darken that. Yeah, I'm. I'm very tempted to do that. All right, now I brushed light rust along here. I did that on both sides. I put some black, some black soot just here on the bottom, okay? And I took black soot on the outside and I also took black soot and went underneath here. So you kind of see the shadow in that, okay? Um, and I've got the light rust underneath and one probably the last thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna take some of this dust bowl Just brush that on. Okay. Just getting the okay, then I always then I use this little makeup brush just to kind of brush off excess. Okay, good. More of that come out. I didn't want so much of that rust there, but because this top rail it rusts. And that's about it. And uh, yeah, I put the I put the dust bowl on. That's about the last step that I'm going to do. 
So, hey, you guys, uh, I'm looking forward to seeing the finished product. I'm looking forward to taking some close-ups of this, and I get the trucks put on, and we'll see it all together. We'll see you guys later. Bye.